What is up YouTube? This is Chris with Frozen Soldier Airsoft and today we're going to be doing a review on the Avengers Tactical M900 Vertical Foregrip. So the first thing that you'll notice is that the box is extremely minimalist and only has a white sticker on the front of it. Opening up the box you can see that it's packaged with very very nice styrofoam ensuring that it will not get damaged in shipping. So pulling off the top foam cover will reveal your replica M900 foregrip. So as you notice in the box it comes in two separate pieces. This small piece here being the bottom of your foregrip and obviously the foregrip itself. So the first thing that you notice when you buy this from evike.com is the only ones that are available are the ones with the quick detach mount. This is incredibly difficult at the beginning when you first get it out of the box, but I can tell you that over use, it wears down and is so much easier. So now moving on to the foregrip itself. It is primarily made out of polymer since it is a replica, but it does have a couple nice metal features. So the first thing that is made out of metal is the flashlight. The next thing made out of metal is the quick detach mount as well as the whole top of the flashlight. And that literally is all the metal pieces on the entire flashlight, so that is kind of a downside. This thing is actually very heavy, weighs in about 2 pounds, so it will make your gun front heavy, I will warn you that. So not included in the box are three CR123A batteries that are needed to use this flashlight. So one feature I really really like is that not only that you can turn the flashlight on with this switch, but it has three pressure switches built in. The first two pressure switches are located on either side of the foregrip, making easy reach for when you want to blind your opponents. And the last pressure switch is located on the top right here. Now the top pressure switch is used to activate these two LED lights in the front. Now unfortunately I've been using mine so much that the LED lights do not work anymore and only one pressure switch works so durability definitely is an issue but I bought it simply just because it looked cool. So to wrap up this review I put the replica M900 on my JG M4 SOP mod and this is definitely without a doubt the coolest looking foregrip that you can get on the market. So anyhow guys thanks for watching and please subscribe.